And new on the night, one investigator called it the case of a lifetime. Law enforcement raiding a home in rural Guadalupe County and making a series of frightening discoveries, including highly radioactive material and books on torture. In tonight's Defenders investigation, Dylan Collier introduces us to the man at the center of the case, a man accused of using other people's identities to build a criminal enterprise. <laughs> All the money we had for the renovation was gone. The news last May came as a surprise to Kenneth Fall, deacon of the 130-year-old Zion Hill Baptist Church outside Seguin. Someone had gotten access to a church bank account and little by little bled over $8,000 from it to pay down a credit card. He dropped amounts that you would normally consider uh, as part of a transaction. Deacon Kenneth Ball said he put it all together using the internet and realized that the man who had been slowly draining funds from the church's account was someone he'd seen at the mailbox, neighbor Gary Albro. Weeks later, law enforcement raided Albro's property across from the church, seizing vehicles, trailers, guns, ammunition, and more than 300 credit cards, prescriptions, and IDs belonging to other people. Even the property itself had been bought using someone else's identity. Nothing was in his name. He used bits and pieces of other people's information, including his own, to fraudulently purchase or defraud. Investigators also found books in the home on prison killing techniques, torture, and radiation. He warned us that there was radioactive material in a bedroom that was adjacent. Collectors grade uranium taken from the home posed no risk, but cesium found inside a lead line can did pose a risk. The element seen here in its liquid form and seen here reacting with another chemical element is one of the most volatile metals on earth. When we put a uh, Measuring devices to it indicated that it was highly radioactive. The material later disposed of by the Texas Department of State Health Services. For the defender, still in Collier, KSAT 12 News. Gary Albro, who faces a federal weapons charge as well as state charges of theft from a nonprofit and fraudulent use IDs, has not said how he got the cesium. He's scheduled to be sentenced in the federal gun possession case later this month. His Guadalupe County trial is slated to begin early next month.